you know that feeling, right? If you've ever managed a server, you know that quiet little bit of pride you get watching that uptime counter just tick higher and higher. It feels like a trophy, solid proof that your setup is absolutely rock solid. But what if I told you that number isn't a badge of honor? What if it's actually a warning sign? Well, let's dive into the Proxmox uptime paradox. So, check this out. This whole thing kicked off when a Proxmox administrator posted that they finally had to shut down their server after this many days of continuous uptime. And what started as just a simple post, you know, an end of an era, it exploded into a huge debate, a total masterclass, really, on system administration. It showed this deep, deep divide in how we all think about reliability. And that brings us right to the heart of this entire explainer. Is that super high uptime counter really something to flex, a sign of your amazing skills? Or is it secretly a ticking time bomb, just waiting for the absolute worst moment to go off? I think the answer is going to surprise you. Okay, so first things first, we have got to talk about the uptime myth. We're going to completely deconstruct this idea that a server that's never rebooted is the sign of a job well done. See, the myth is that long uptime shows skill. It shows stability. It kind of screams, hey, look at me. I know what I'm doing. But the reality, the reality, as any seasoned admin will tell you, is that it often points to the exact opposite. It signals risk. It signals a fragile setup and a system that's probably hiding some really nasty problems. And look, this isn't just some theory. This quote from an admin who's been in the trenches just says it all. The stakes are real. I mean, can you imagine thinking everything is running perfectly and then a simple power outage comes along and reveals that your entire system is just a house of cards because it literally can't survive a restart? And this leads us directly to the ticking time bomb itself. What is actually lurking under the surface? What are these hidden dangers that just build up and up in a server that never ever gets a fresh start? And right here, this is the core of the problem. Your server might be running, sure, but that doesn't mean it's healthy. You've got critical kernel updates and security patches just sitting there, completely unapplied, because, well, they need a reboot. All the while, you could have slow memory leaks that are totally masked. And maybe the worst part? Any configuration changes you made on the fly might only exist in the server's active memory. They could just vanish the second the power cycles. This quote just nails the feeling, doesn't it? That's not paranoia. That is the voice of hard-won experience. The pride you used to feel in that uptime number slowly morphs into this quiet, nagging anxiety every single time you even look at the server rack. So if chasing uptime is the problem, then what's the solution? Well, this is where you become the pragmatic rebooter. It's all about changing how you think about rebooting. It's not a failure. It's a professional, proactive maintenance task. Think of it like an insurance policy against total disaster. And this is not some chaotic, cross your fingers and hope for the best kind of event. No way. It's a controlled process. The smart admins, they follow a really simple cycle. You take your snapshots first, just as a safety net. Then you apply all those pending patches. You perform the reboot on your schedule. And then, and this is crucial, you test that all your critical services come back online exactly as they should. But of course, if it's so important, why do so many people avoid it? Well, the reasons are pretty human, actually. You've got inertia. That classic, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's be honest, there's also some laziness. Doing it right takes effort. But the biggest one, the one that gets everyone, it's fear. That very real gut-wrenching fear that if you turn it off, it might not turn back on. I just had to include this quote. It's absolutely perfect. It's hilarious, but it's also a surprisingly spot-on analogy, right? Forcing your server, or your body for that matter, to go against its natural maintenance cycle isn't a sign of strength. It's just a really bad idea that it's going to cause problems down the road. All right, so let's talk about the real flex, which isn't uptime at all. It's resilience. And this is where we get into some of the horror stories that really drive home why you have to plan for the inevitable, because sometimes reboots do go bad. Okay, get ready for this one. An admin shared a story about a Linux box that had over 3,600 days of uptime. That's almost 10 years. 10 years without a single restart. I mean, can you imagine the mix of pride and sheer terror? And here, here's the punchline. That server was running a kernel from 2011, a full decade of security vulnerabilities, bugs, and who knows what else, all hiding behind a vanity metric. 
that's not stability. That's a museum piece just waiting to get compromised. Or how about this? Four years of perfect uptime just gone in an instant because of an earthquake. The lesson here is so, so important. You don't always get to choose when your server reboots. You can either do it on your terms during a planned maintenance window, or a natural disaster is going to do it for you. So all of this really leads to the one big practical question, doesn't it? If we're supposed to be rebooting our systems, then how often should we actually be doing it? Well, after looking at the consensus from hundreds of experienced admins, a really clear pattern starts to emerge. The overwhelming majority, we're talking 70%, they reboot their systems every one to three months. It just lines up perfectly with patch cycles, and it makes sure the system gets regularly tested. Some do it monthly, especially for Windows boxes, and others might stretch it to every three to six months for certain Linux servers. But through all the different opinions, all the different schedules, there was one single unifying rule that basically everyone agreed on. The only, and I mean only, wrong answer to how often should I reboot is never. And this quote, this one just perfectly sums up the whole mindset shift. Your users, your clients, they don't care if the server has been on for 10 days or a thousand days. They just care if the service they need is actually available. Your focus has to be on the continuity of the service, which, and here's the paradox, actually requires you to periodically restart the server. So after all that, what's the real flex? What is the true badge of honor for a sysadmin? It's this right here. It's knowing that you can reboot your entire system anytime without even breaking a sweat. Why? Because you've tested it, you've patched it, and you've built it to recover from day one. Resetting that uptime counter to zero isn't admitting defeat. It is actively proving your system's resilience. And that is the real flex.